Okay, kids. Ham and Cheese back here with you again today. And for today's video, we're talking about portable and alternative power sources on a budget. All right. We're going to talk about two setups today. We're going to talk about the one you see in front of you here, which is our long-term setup. And then we're going to look at a portable setup that we use that all fits into a backpack as well. Okay. So the first one we're talking about, like I said, is our large setup we see in front of us here. And this starts out with the core of it being our 12 volt, 20 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. Okay. We pair this with our solar controller, which is a 50 amp solar controller. And then we have a watt meter and analyzer, which is 150 amps. All right. This also gets powered off of a 100 watt solar panel. And when we're not using the solar aspect of it, we can use this little guy right here, which is our float charger. You can see right here, it's a Centec float charger. And we've taken the alligator clips off and converted it to a power pull. Okay. This little guy here is designed for long-term stuff, like I said. This is your field day setup. This is your MCOM. You're going to be in an operational period for seven days at a shelter or something like that set up. This is your, maybe you're going to camp for the week and you want to set up while you're at camp. You want to do some parks on the air or what have you. This is what you're going to use. All right. This is a large, heavy, bulky setup, but it's meant to be set up and left alone. This isn't something you're going to pack in an hour later, pack out. Okay. You can, but again, it's made for long term. All right. So all we do is we connect everything with the power poles. As you can see, we have power poles here. And this one goes to the solar panel, which is right here. We have our fused connections for the radio, like so. The watt meter connects between the panel and the battery and gives us a reading of how much is in the battery and what we're drawing. And then the solar connection itself even has a set of power poles as well. And then there's power poles, of course, on the end of the solar panel also. All right. So that's our first setup. Like I said, it's the big, heavy, bulky setup. We then have our portable setup which we encompass this little guy into as well. And as you can see, like I said, very, very heavy. Not meant to be picked up and moved quickly. And you can see the camera shake because it's damn heavy as well. But we have our portable setup, which is just this little guy right here. And it's a simple four and a half amp hour battery 12 volt and we just pair it up with a simple barrel connector or a simple plug and then we can take that little guy and we can run our qrp for the afternoon maybe using something like this you kids tj5a right here okay again it's qrp 1 to 20 watts we're going to throw it up quick maybe we're doing parks on the air for the afternoon or something like that that's where it comes into play, okay? The little guy all fits in a backpack. Take it with you, pack it in, pack it out, you're done. All right? Now, like I said, we did this all on a budget. Let's talk about this portable again real quick. This budget here, this was free, okay? This came out of one of those battery backup units that you use for computers, things like that. The unit failed, but the battery's still good, so we salvaged the battery. This wire setup, $3 from DigiKey. That's all it was. Pair it with that little guy right there. PowerWorks sells these. They're like 40 bucks. This one here came from Amazon, and it's designed for RC cars. But it's the same thing, identical. 11 bucks. So, right there. $14 for a portable power setup. Okay. Now, if we talk about our big guy again, 
this guy paired with this guy right here and this guy are all in total less than a hundred dollars this was 62 this guy was 18 bucks on an Amazon open buy and of course we just mentioned that for eleven dollars we keep all of these goodies in a 30 caliber ammo can which is military surplus and that was free because my grandfather shot for the army and as a result we have tons of them on hand everybody in my family has a bunch of them for all sorts of stuff okay so let's go back and talk again again about being on the budget this whole setup both setups in fact cost less than one by Anio or one of those name brand lithium ion life po fours whatever you have out there okay some of those for a 20 amp battery are pushing over 300 dollars now we've got less than 200 tied up into this including with the solar panel which was 160 dollars and it's a 100 watt panel that came from harbor freight it's one of those packable suitcase panels okay so it gives you a rough idea of where we're at um but why do we do this in the first place? Well, it's real simple. Natural disasters, grid down situations, power outages are becoming a commonplace occurrence. I want you to think back to just this fall. We had Hurricane Helene in the mountains of North Carolina. There's places down there that are still in rolling blackout phases that don't have any power. If you have something like this, you're not going to power your station for days on end with it. Okay, it's just not feasible. But you have something like this, and now it becomes feasible. Okay, and that's why we pair it with the battery tender. We can keep it charged up in the house, ready to go at the shack. And then if we have to, we can run a wire outside to the solar panel and charge this thing all day long. We can do other stuff with this too. We can charge our laptop with this. We can run a small fan if we have to, a 12 volt fan. We could put a small 12 volt LED light on this if we needed to. We can even run a little four cup coffee maker with an inverter. These are all things that we have done with this battery and with this setup. So that gives you an idea. It is feasible and it can be done. Okay. The other reason you do it is you might be the only person in your town or for several towns. You know, if you live in one of those rural areas where your closest Walmart's 40 miles away, you might be the only person that can communicate with somebody, okay? You may need to pass traffic. You may need to get on a hurricane watch net and send traffic out, whatever the case may be. You can do that, okay? Those people in North Carolina, they lost their cell phone reception. They even lost AM and FM radio. So they had no way of knowing what was going on in the outside world. They didn't know who was coming. They didn't know when they were coming. They didn't know how they were going to get anything, and some of them suffered for weeks on end. Those who have this ability to communicate, though, can at least get messages out and let people know that folks are okay and get the supplies they need in a hurry. So that's what this is about, all right? And by keeping it cheap and easy, maybe you can get yourself into a little bit better radio. Maybe you can get a better antenna set up like a Wolf River Coil or something like that. Put your money back into the other components that you need to communicate and keep going and moving forward all right so like i said we keep it cheap and easy that's what we're all about here we're all about simple design these are all simple designs these kits didn't put any effort in to make them happen these entire builds have less than an hour's worth of work into them okay and these are things that you even as a beginner can do and this is something that if you just got that tech license you can build one of these. And then you can take this little guy, put it in a backpack with your little dual bander and go up and do some summits on the air. Maybe you can even work two meter and be a relay point for somebody. You know, as a technician doing MCOMs, relays are just as essential as anything else. Maybe conditions aren't favorable for HF, but we need somebody who can hit five, six, seven, eight, ten repeaters you can do that with this little battery 
And even if you had to, you could take this little guy, pair it up with a 25 watt solar panel, and you can run all day that way. Okay? These take no time to charge up. And a 25 watt panel would provide more than enough power to this thing to make it do what you need it to do. All right? So there it is on a nutshell, our cheap and easy portable power sources. Links will be in the description for various stuff that we used and the things that we put together with it. And some came from Amazon, some from DigiKey, some from other places. So it'll all be there for you. Thanks for watching. 7-3.